Today's the day. Today we take a look and we walk around the 3D printing shop, the studio, and the future space that we're getting ready to build. See you guys inside. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're finally gonna show off some of the new print shop that we built with the new house. So with that, we're gonna show off the office studio space, which you guys see part of it, but this is gonna be, this area is also where I spend all day working over in here, and a the stream area over there, and actually that's kind of been prepped as a second stage for the second channel we're hoping to launch pretty soon. So, lots of spaces. You guys will see where the new paint booth is going and the laser engravers. Um, that space is super still under construction. Uh, um, but it's just kind of give you a detail of where I have all these printers stashed and working together and kind of just give you an idea of what you can do with any space. Because if you checked out my prior shop that we had back in Missouri, I very much used the vertical because I had small narrow room, but lots of vertical space. So I definitely had stuff stacked. This print shop, I have a triangle very short. So I had to be very innovative on how I use the space. And we're gonna talk about that when I show off that space to you guys. If you see anything in this video that you're curious about, like what my shelving I use, all that kind of stuff, definitely let me know down in the comments below. And for a lot of that stuff, there's gonna be links down in the description as well. So kind of stick with that. If you have a question about any of the 3D printers, leave that down in the comments down below. And if you're new here and curious about 3D printing or anything like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us and ask the questions in the comments. And do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button really helps me out, really kind of makes things move and be a lot better. So with that guys, the first thing we're gonna look at is the studio, the stage, the work area, where my office is. It kind of looks like NASA, it's really kind of cool. Uh, I've got five massive monitors in here, um, but you're gonna see a lot of cool just arrangement. So let's start off with the office, then we're gonna actually go up and see the print shop then at the third piece, we're gonna talk about the new area with the paint, indoor paint booth that I'm working on, the benches where the laser engravers are gonna be, and just how these three spaces are gonna flow. So let's hop over to the office. Okay guys, so here is the office. This is where I do my day-to-day -day work. Um, you guys can notice the streaming stage, the lighting, the hobby zone organizers, my shelf of models in progress or shelf of shame that I'm still working on. The streaming stage, of course, we got a Battlestar Galactica, the start of Battlestar Pegasus. Go check out those streams if you haven't checked them out. Um, and yeah, you can definitely tell I am a big Star Trek nut um, looking at all the infra all the Starship models and memorabilia that I've collected over the years. Of course, the Hobby Zone um, stuff is all over the place. Eagle Moss, um, right there, those monitors right there where I'm mainly working on my day job all the time. You can see my paint booth, um, different microphones, light rings, and of course the stage that you just saw earlier. Um, so up above, what you guys don't normally see is a bunch more 3D prints that I'm kind of working on, more memorabilia, a bunch of resins from my frozen Sonic Mega 8K that we're getting ready to work, but in my storage cabinet, more paint, more stuff to work on model kits and all that kind of stuff, getting ready to come for that second channel and also be used on these beautiful models we're working in um, on this, but this is where I spend most of my day-to-day -day time and of course most of Tuesday nights is working in here, so lots going on. Um, where we're looking right now, of course, that Hobby Zone, all that stuff I plan to have behind me as a stage for the second channel. And that streaming desk is all important to all that fun stuff. But now let's hop up to the print shop. All right, guys. So the only part of my house that has stairs is going up to the print shop and the spare bedroom. And I'm stopping by this Enterprise photo because one, again, I'm a huge Star Trek nut, but also Enterprise. This is, this is my imagination where I build things and where things happen. So it's an inspirational thing and you can see. As I talked about the slanted roofs and all that in the print room there you saw, here of course is my wall of filament because um, I stocked up before I left St. Louis. But as I go in here, you can see you've got the resin curing land, the tool chest with the resin open bay. There's stuff going around in my any cubic wash and cure stations, my mercury wash and cure station, my cobalt toolboxes, 
my drying boxes down there, my M3 Max sitting there, of course, with some tools, and my Sat my uh, Saturn S all working there. And there's the two big girls. There's the Frozen Mega 8Ks, both doing jobs right now, getting more prints out, getting stuff done every day because, well, <laughs> this is a print shop. We print all kinds of things. You guys can see there that I'm using the Mega 8K uh, Aqua 8K Res resin from frozen as well in those big machines it does great quality and i love it but here is the big farm here is filament land so these are my fdm printers for my cr10s my odin 5s my ender 3s my cheer on uh, the cr10 max way back over there and all the way in the back there is that big cr30 which um, adam has been kind enough to send me some custom nozzles for to try out i need to get those swapped on and actually start printing with this guy again everything's powered up but i still got to mount all my cameras and all that kind of stuff so i'm still a work in progress of getting all the printers there's the beautiful prusa that i enjoy working with it is a fantastic machine of course we gotta have a refrigerator we're you know i gotta sit up here and have drinks man and of course you know you gotta have a nice computer up there too so we've got a lot of cool stuff up there there's my servers um that i run my house from um small servers my small dell pc that runs my docker that connects some of my uh, printers and controls them so the cr10 v3 of course has its own land i'm really anxious to get that cr10 max back up and running because that thing it does some beautiful work there's the C ender 3 s1 pro and then my two favorite cr10 v2 sitting right next to each other the cheer on is about ready to start getting to work um you can see my tools magnetically connected there that i move around when i'm using my printers and of course this is resin so i've got my charcoal air filter in there and then of course you know got to have the wash and curing stuff going on i've got two of the anycubic mega or wash and cure pluses with the illigoo mercury plus they work really well and you can see those mega 8k's just sitting there Actually, I don't have them doing anything right now, but they will be hard back at work because models don't print themselves. They've got to be used. So as you guys can see, lots of good stuff up here. Lots of space used with the Craftsman shelving and the Walt shelving to get the space in there. Use of the Cobalt toolbox, the Husky toolbox, I apologize. And, you know, just the, the under shelving where all my resin stored, my washing cure, spare parts, tools, all that stuff that are needed to keep this shop in operation. So lots of good stuff up there, lots of important tools, and, you know, it looks like a small room, but we got it in there. Now let's hop out to the new area. Okay, so this is just a real quick bit because you guys can see this is very much still a work in progress. You can see the laser engravers. I've just got their tables to go underneath them. Right here in the space where I'm pointing is going to be my print, my indoor, not print, uh, paint station that I'm going to make. So I can come in here and prime and spray paint and use all that stuff. And you guys can see the other bench where some additional acrylic or resin printers are going to live out here, hopefully. And I got some canopies on my paint and primer. And this area is just kind of a work in progress. But you can also see something over there on the left. And we're going to zoom get over to that real quick. So I talked about the model channel. And I'm ready. I've got the models. We've got the stage. So make sure you're sticking around and go check out Rise of Miniatures and Models. Here, by the beginning of the new year, we should have start having videos coming up of all these wonderful model kits that I have to put together. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, if you can, go over and go ahead and subscribe to that channel, even though I don't have any content yet. But trust me, it's coming. So let's wrap this one up, guys. All right, guys, that's the start of the print shop, the studio, and that new area out in the garage that we're working on to build up. So the move, yes, this video is coming out just at just a little over of us being here for three months, but we've unpacked a house. We've put together a lot, but there's still a lot still of work to do. Reorganization, stuff like that, that we're adding in. There's going to be things that I didn't show in here that are still going to get built up and get worked into the shops and different things like that. There's always things that can change, like this studio can easily change. You guys can notice new things are popping up back behind me all the time um, as we kind of work through and figure out 
what looks good, what looks bad, what do we need to get rid of, what do we keep. So it's all kind of a decision process we have to go through um, as we put this together. It may be this stuff sits here for weeks. I mean, the Enterprise, it was over here, it moved. It went and found a uh, different home in the house. So it, it is an unpacking. The fact that I've gotten this all put together in three months, um, I find pretty darn awesome, especially since I'm usually gone about a week out of each of those months. Um, and I work a full-time you know, day job of eight or nine hours a day, plus this stuff, plus making sure I'm dedicating time to my family. So it's all kind of one of those things that really kind of has to be integral. This is definitely becoming more and more of my focus um, as 3D printing is, you know, becoming more of my love and what I enjoy doing every day. So again, if you enjoyed the content, have suggestions, leave those down in the comments below. Hit that like button, let me know you liked it. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us as all kinds of new stuff is gonna start coming out of that print shop. So thank you guys. We'll catch you in the next video.